Asus has been having a very good run since the launch of the Zenfone series lineup. All the phones in this range are basically budget oriented ones. While most of them are powered by the Intel Core processors, some are also powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the benchmarking of the Asus Zenfone 5 a 501 cg powered by the Intel Dual Core processor. Now, let's get to the benchmarks. So, before starting our benchmarks, I would like to get the hardware bit sorted. This device is powered by the Intel Dual Core processor clocked at 1.6 GHz. It comes with 2 GB of RAM, an 8 megapixel camera, 5 inch 720 pixel screen and, and power VR SGX 544MP2 GPU. All of this which is prepared to bring its competitor down. But is the hardware is not the only thing that sets the performance up. Let's now check the actual performance of this. So before starting, I would like to make one thing clear. This device runs on Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Why I am telling this is that if you are using a different version of Android, this course will be marginally different. So now let's begin. First, we are going to be uh, testing the Antutu. 2. Now let's start the test. I am going to skip through this and we'll be back once it's over. So guys, the test is over and we have the score here. We have a score of about 23,000, which is pretty good. While uh, my Android version was in 4.3 Jelly Bean, I got a score of about 18,000. Uh, so it shows an increment of about 5,000. So that's pretty good. Now, next up, let's go to the multi-touch test. So as you can see, I've already tested it and it has got a 10 point multi-touch screen which is common on almost all the phones now. So next is going to be the quadrant standard. So here is here it is. Let me switch on my internet uh, because this needs an internet connection. Now let me run a full benchmark. So it's going on. So guys, I'm gonna skip through this too. I will meet you back. So the test is almost nearing its end now. So guys, the scores are out and we have got a score of about 7308. When I checked this the last time, I got a score of about 9000. So the score jumps here and there, but it's pretty stable. It's just about the HTC One X and the other devices. So next, let's go to the Geekbench 3, which can run on uh, multiple OS such as the Android, the iOS and so on. So now, let us run the benchmark. Yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. I told you that this device runs on a dual core processor, but it also has Intel's hyperthreading technology, which means each core has counted as two cores per single physical core, which means essentially it's a quad core processor. This is Intel's architecture. There isn't much of a difference, but uh, there is some uh, differences between an actual quad core and the one with hyperthreading technologies.
so guys this is the score we have a single core score of 470 and a multi score score of 1056 we also have several other system information this might be useful for you let me just go through it you can pause the video and take a look at these scores So our device is 470 which competes with the LG Nexus 4, Sony Xperia Z, Samsung Galaxy S3 and so on. Whereas in multi-core it only competes with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus which is a very old device. The Nexus 7 and the Motorola Moto G powered by the Snapdragon 400. Now last but not the least let us go to Nina Mark 2. Let me run the test now. So guys we have got a score of around 60.3 fps which is great. So if you are looking for a good device and or on a budget I would strongly recommend you for, uh, for this device except for the battery issue. The battery only lasts for the day with average usage. So thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos. Before moving out just check out the unboxing video that I made on the Asus Zenfone 5 and several other gadgets which is down there in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and comment your comments.